next. Yes, and the men. Oh. Hello. I'm Dr. Johnson, and welcome to the Umbrella Corporation. I oversee the pharmaceutical and skincare divisions. And you are. Mm, yes, let's see if I can find your name here. Ah, oh, yes. It seems you've been selected as a potential new candidate to undergo our clinical skin care and vaccination trials. Is this correct? Wonderful. If selected, I want to start by saying I appreciate your cooperation to work with us. Yes, these vaccination trials are very important to the growth of modern medicine. So, your help is very beneficial. So, I'd like to start by verifying some medical information from you. I already have your name here. Do you mind just verifying your date of birth? Wonderful in the year. Okay, good. And your contact information such as your email, phone number. Okay. Place of employment. Okay. Your primary physician. Yes, and their contact information. Perfect. Now, do you have any medical conditions, prior surgeries? Have you been sick or ill in the last two weeks with a fever? Any allergic reactions to any medications? Have you ever had any reactions to any vaccinations? Such as swelling of the throat, hives, hard and troubled shallow breathing by chance? Okay. Very good. You are seeming like an excellent potential candidate. Now, do you mind me asking how you heard about us? Yes, not our overall corporation, but how you've heard about our clinical trials. A referral. All right, perfect. And now, before we continue, just briefly, do you mind telling me a bit about your family life, your family medical history, any concerns of disease, cancer? Do you have a partner, children? Mm -hmm. And your parents. I see. So you live alone. Well, now that we've gotten all of that technical issue out of the way, why don't we go ahead and start with the skincare portion and trial? Now, tell me, do you use any skincare products or have you in the past? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed any allergies or reactions to 
any specific What would you say your skin type is? Do you have sensitive skin? Oily? Dry combination? So a bit of combination. Where would you say the excess oil secretion is located? It's normal in your T-zone area. Very good. Typically when our skin is excreting a abnormal or a larger amount of sebum, which is the technical term for the oil, it is because it's trying to protect or moisturize your skin. So, would you mind if I just took a quick little examination of your face? Very good. I do have to get a little close. So I hope that's okay with you. Okay. Just going to feel around your Does seem to be that your D zone is a bit more on the oily side, while your cheeks and the remainder of your face seem to be on the more dry to normal side. I'm just going to take a quick peek with my light. have a few products I would like to test on you today. I'm just going to put your skin examination into your candidate record here. Now, if at any point you have any concerns, questions, or are experiencing any uh, discomfort or reaction to our products, please don't hesitate to stop and ask me, okay? Very good. Have you ever had a clinical trial or vaccination done in the past? Well, the first product I would like to test on your skin is our toning treatment. I'm sure you've used a toner before, correct? This is just supposed to help even out your skin's complexion, help with the regulation of your sebum, and improve the overall health of your facial skin. Yeah. 
I'm going to start by putting a small bit here on my hand and rubbing that together. And now it's important when applying your product not to pull on your skin. So we're going to pat the product into your face. Yes, pulling on the skin can cause wrinkles or damage to the overall health of your facial. Do you mind closing your eyes for me? I'm just going to envelop your eyelids again. Very good. And we'll just give that a second to seep into your pores and really get into your skin. Tell me, what are your initial thoughts and feelings? What are you experiencing? A, a slight tingling sensation. And is that causing you any discomfort or... No. It's quite relaxing. Wonderful. That is quite a common reaction with our candidates. They mention having a tingling and cooling effect or sensation. Tell me, are you experiencing a cooling effect or stimulation throughout your skin. Wonderful, fascinating. All right. Yes, I've been told it's quite refreshing. Okay. Yes, the products we are testing on you today are to help with your skin's regenerative properties and overall health, avoid wrinkles, increase elasticity, and just overall physical strength. So the next product I would like to test on you is our new moisturizer. Now this is formulated with 92% snail secretion or filtering. While that may seem odd, it has been proven that snail secretion is not only moisturizing, but like I mentioned, helps with the overall elasticity and physical well-being of your skin. You only need about a pea or dime-sized amount, as a little goes a long way. It will feel like a slimy or silky texture. That's just the snail secretion. And again, I don't want to massage, as I don't want to pull the skin. So 
I'll be working in small, circular light motions. Okay? Here we go. I'm just going to make sure I work that all into your face now. And how's it feeling? Yes, this one too. Very good. And we'll let that take a moment and soak in. How are you feeling? Any new sensations? I'd like to test our last product here for our skincare regimen. And that is our Snail Repair Intensive Serum. Now this contains concentrated snail secretion and it's supposed to help with wrinkle care, skin repair, and the regenerative properties I mentioned earlier. This really is quite fascinating. Hard to believe all of that can come from snail secretion and well a special unique flower we found. that into your face here. Very good. Pat, 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 We will be giving you a trial size of each product to continue using at your leisure. As effects can take a few days, you know, to really test a product and see how your skin reacts. We will be maintaining contact with you throughout. And we just ask that you let us know if anything changes. So far, it's feeling good. Wonderful. Okay. Yes, it should make your skin feel stronger than ever. Okay. Now, if you do have any reactions to the skincare or vaccination before departure. How do you feel about staying overnight with us for a watch just to make sure there's no adverse side effects? No, no, nothing to be worried about, just something we need to make sure of. 
Very good. We have that on record. Okay. Now I already have your physical information from your primary physician. However, we are going to verify that you are of peak physical condition before we continue. According to the CDC, we cannot do our clinical trial or testing if you've been sick recently, have a fever, or if you're not in physical condition. Okay? So we'll just do a quick little run through and make sure you're healthy and then we'll get to the vaccination. Okay. I'm going to start by getting your temperature. I have a forehead thermometer right here. You can just hold still for me. I'm just going to get it scanned here. All right, perfect. 98.7. And you did say you haven't been sick recently, right? And you haven't had any vaccinations recently. And it looks like we already got your height and weight, correct? The nurse, you did verify that their height and weight was correct with the primary physician's records. Wonderful. Alright, next I would like to take a quick listen to your heart and lungs. Would you mind pulling up your shirt for me slightly? I'm just going to have you breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth. There we go. In, out, in, out. Heart and lungs sounded good. Yes, you can put your shirt down. And next, I would like to get your blood pressure. So if you could roll up your sleeve for me and turn. And we'll just do a couple can roll your sleep now. It is 120 over 80, so your blood pressure looks good. Alright. Nurse, did you ready the vaccine? Wonderful. I'm going to grab that from our nurse and we will finish up your physical and started on our trial. One moment. All right. I'm back and we are going to take a quick look into your eyes. I would like you to just try and remain still and keep your head, neck, and shoulders steady. And I'm just going to look into your eyes here. Okay. And do you wear any glasses or contacts? Have a prescription? Okay. 
focus here on my nose. Very good. Again, please remain as still as possible and just follow the light with your eyes. Excellent job. Alright. I'm going to take a quick peek into your mouth. So if you can just open up and say, ah, oh, stick out your tongue real flat. And if you could just swallow for me. Nice. And again. Feels good. Alright. Lastly, I'd like to just take a quick peek into your ears. Do you have any issues hearing? Any difficulties? Any strain? We should be all set with our physical examination. Do you have any questions for me before we continue? And also, this vaccination trial is going to be quite an advancement in modern medicine. It's supposed to keep one's immune system and physical health strong with regenerative properties and you should feel the effects pretty instantaneously. It doesn't need a booster or a second dose, it's a one and done. It's like nothing that's been out before. It should keep one from being able to contract any disease. Yes, it's quite strong. That's why we have you to make sure that there's no issues, complications before we release it to the general public. Okay? Marvelous. This will be at an injection site located on your neck. Yes, we found it is the fastest way for the vaccination to reach the candidate's bloodstream. Okay, so I'm going to start by disinfecting and sanitizing the location of injection.
we will spray down the area here and wipe away with the cotton ball. So very good, and just make sure. Lastly, we will just apply some iodine at the location. Nurse the vaccine. Thank you. Alright. This should be a fairly quick process. I will place this at the injection site and you shouldn't feel a thing. It should be fairly quick. And then once we are finished, the effect should be pretty instantaneous. Mm -hmm. Please just make sure you're updating me on how you're feeling and we'll go from there. Nothing to be worried about. I assure you, you'll come out of this um, much stronger than you came in. Alright. Here we go. Injecting vaccine into Canada, dear. Three, two, one. And push the side in here. Marvelous. And I'll just let that kick in for you. How are you feeling? My, my. So quickly. <laughs> you look shaken. But I bet you're feeling so strong. Ooh. <laughs> Can't wait to see how this affects you first. Take them away. You may be getting a bit sleepy for now. Thank you for joining the Umbrella Corporation. Your assistance was very much welcome. <laughs> Nuki. 